Hey everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today we're going to be aquascaping this 40 gallon breeder. And I'm going to be using the plants I got with Dustin's Fish Tanks and Bucks County Aquarium Society. And maybe some other plants that I have in a holding tank. Check out this link if you want to see the unboxing of all those plants, for most of those plants. And I'm going to be using those plants to aquascape this. I'm going to put it on time lapse at, while I aquascape because it's going to be a lot of, hmm, what should I do next? Maybe over here? No. Hmm, ah, hmm, ah, hmm, ah. And then I'm going to try to fill up slowly to keep some of the murky water down. But we will see how this goes. So let me show you the substrate I'm using. I did not go out and buy substrate. I had two or three bags and mixed them all. So I had a little bit of stratum, aquatic plant media, and fluorite. So that is my substrate for this 40 gallon. I mixed them all together. Well, the stratum's underneath in the back, and then the other two are mixed. So it's what I had, so that's what I'm using. And I found this piece of wood. I was going to use in a terrarium, but I really think I'm going to like it with maybe some java fern flowing through it. I, re I really, I really think I'm going to like it. My idea is in this back corner is to put some valicinaria, some of the java fern. I love some of the bacopa and red plants. Um, but I don't want to jam pack this one. I want to try to plant it sparsely and let it fill in. Let's get started. Of course, the time lapse didn't go off. I don't know why. I'm going to try to add water without totally destroying it. I'm going to move this over to the rock because this I was trying to catch all the, the water that was already in the siphon, which had some clay in it. I'll dump this out real quick. I might put up something here that's like more greenish. Maybe if I have more of that creamy paper, I, I really like that. Give it that wash look. I'm trying to fill up the tank as slow as possible. I don't have my carbon blocker on it, so I'm going to put a little bit of the safe in. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. This stuff goes a long way. Normally I have my carbon blocker on, but... safe in here. I'm going to mix up, make sure it gets dissolved. Okay, so I just turned on the filter, and we have a little bit of a mucky thing, so we're just going to wait, and we'll come back in a few. Right, as we can see, it's still very flowery, and I'm so pissed off that I forgot about the filter. So this is what it looked like before I drained it down, and I planted, and as soon as I started up that filter, all this red water came out. So I'm going to see if this helps. These are, I just put some activated carbon in these two little bags. I'm going to put these back in the uh, filter, see if it helps. Okay, so I'm liking how this is looking so far. This is the next day, well actually two days later. Might even be three because I got very sick after I started making this film. Not because of this, but... So I haven't done anything to it. I just came down to look at it. I did put the carbon in the back and some polyfilter. So as you can see, I put a little water wisteria in the back. Hopefully that'll grow up and out with the valves. And I love the red in here and the purples. And all this dwarf sag will hopefully fill out with the bacopa. I got this, the wood back there with all the java fern. I have my, my dragon stone with my bulbitis. Love that. Now this, let me go back. This dragon stone, that's just holding down the wood. So once the wood can sink on its own, and it's going to go through 
its own cycle with its uh, a bacteria. But you see this empty space here? Apparently I don't have any crypts. Like what? And I wanted this whole front area to be a field of crypts. So I'm going to an event this weekend, Billy Pipes event, and there's gonna be a lot of things on sale. So I'll probably pick up some crypts. But I really like the background with this too, because it's already making it look like it's a little bit grown in. So here's how it is looking. I bought two clumps of cryptocurine Wendy and it was about 12 plants, 15 plants. And I'm thinking that will grow one now. It's not a whole lot to look at right this moment, but I'm already falling in love with this. Oh look, I got an extra leaf. We don't need that. I'm already falling in love with this tank. There's something about a heavily planted tank that just I just absolutely love. And I like the crypts because they're very, very slow growing. But they will fill in really nice. So thanks for coming along, guys, and checking out my heavily planted tank. Well, it will be heavily. And my electric blue Jack Dempsey is finding a really nice home in it. And I just love the contrast between the bright blue colors, the red substrate, and the greenery. See you next time.